Hello there, everybody. Sabana Knight, who AK Nightmare, and once again, welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. So, last episode, we got to meet Mask de Mo I got, I honestly, I'm not even entirely sure that he's the real Mask de Mosk. But anyway, um, Big Thief, still something important, aka the urn from the, uh, little, um, museum, the thing that's going on here to kind of showcase some of Karain Village. Also, got to see Adrian again. It looks like she's doing well. Also, I like how they realistically portrayed her. Like, she's not 100% better, but she's infinitely, she's a lot better than what she was, and she still has these moments where she freaks out a little bit. I like it when a character, when character development is kind of realistic. I like that. It's not an instant fix for her. She still has those moments, and that's why I absolutely love it. I love the fact that she's still doing her best. I've also got myself a cup of coffee because I just got off work and I'm ready to just enjoy some Phoenix Wright if you didn't, if you uh, can't tell. So, <clears throat> on top of that, we also got to meet an interesting detective who I, I've, I've been given suggestions for like voices to go for him and I'm not gonna lie, I've spent maybe about a day or so trying to pr try, I can't, I can't do it. I've been trying to practice doing a, um, uh, the Penguin from uh, his iter his incarnation from the Batman, the animate that animated series, the one where uh, Joker's voiced by um, oh god, I think he's voiced by the dude that did uh, was it Darth Vader? No, I don't know, but um, believe me, I've been trying to do it, Tweet. I can't, I can't do it. It's it's that kind of voice that just sounds. Really difficult to pull off. And cobble pots do not, sir. I can't do it. I've been trying desperately and I can't do it. Ugh. So for the time being, I'm going to be sticking with something a little bit more... I don't know. Alright, here we go. Also, another thing that was pointed out. Bit of an instant... Uh, uh, a change of pace. This is not a murder case for once. It is literally just us searching for a robber. I love it. <sighs> I'm happy. It's a change of pace. Anyway, October 13th, 9.36 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 4. Hey, Nick! What is it? Is something wrong? Nah, yeah, but did you see all the people here? It's crazy! Oh, so check out the mask de mask glassy I bought. Glossy? Green and purple. Also, is that really? Yeah, the green and purple. I know that's just the lighting, but you know, I don't care if it's just the lighting. Green and purple, it fits for me. I love it. You bought this where? From the little tents in front of the courthouse. They have all sorts of things for sale. You know, I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. I shot a mask to mosque striking a pose. What? <clears throat> um. Come on, I'm guilty. Throw the book at me. Who's screaming like that? Oh, Mr. Wright. You, you, you made it. Yeah, I did. But it doesn't look like things are going to get any less ugly for you. Because I did it. I'm the criminal. <laughs> Ugh, he's at it again. I sent the calling card to Lord Taylor. I admit it! But, you don't have the sacred urn, right? Well, that is true, but... It doesn't mean that I didn't commit the crime. Normally, when I say, uh, of course you didn't, I'm being sarcastic, but you? Yikes! Anyway, I admit that I'm guilty. So make sure to give me a guilty verdict. Please! Why are you so desperate to convict yourself? Oh, there you are, Ronnie. Bonjour, sweetie. Oh, Desi, honey. B -b Bonjour. Well, actually, I don't really know why I should be speaking French to you at a time like this. 
Leave it all to me, Ronnie. I'll, I swear, I'll protect you. Um, uh, uh, well, uh, you see, actually, the thief is uh, me. Can I tell you something, Nicky boy? I can guarantee that my Ronnie is innocent. If he's declared guilty, I'll be ever so cross with you. So why are you smiling when you say it? Well, if you'll excuse me, I've got some errands I need to take care of. I'm counting on you, Nicky boy. Good luck. Did I just get threatened? I feel like I just got threatened. To be honest, I really don't know whether Ron is masked to mosque or not. But there's only one thing I am sure of. <clears throat> he doesn't have the sacred urn right now. Mr. Delight, time for you to enter the courtroom. Oh, right. Oh, um, a bit of a correction here. Um, apparently, I think Mr. Got It, uh, I'm sorry, his name, I believe, is pronounced, uh, the, the T is silent, so it's, uh, Godo? Godo. Go. <sighs> I am already predicting the comments are going to be consistently correcting me on how this man's name is pronounced. So I think I'm going to try to pronounce his name as Godo. For the time being, I guess I'll have to trust Desiree. I'm looking forward to meeting this guy. I bet you it's that vi- it's the- uh, the episode preview bets to do with that wicked visor. Son of a bitch it is! Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Rotten Delight. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh god, what what voice do I give you? Do I give him my deepest voice? Or do I stand for something? Actually, he does strike me as the uh, Michelle voice owner. Hmm. I think I'll try that. We'll see how it goes. What about the prosecution? Are you prepared to... What a stupid question. What, what did you say? Fine. Let me ask you then, Your Honor. Are you ready? Are you ready to pass judgment? What? What? N n n n no, I I'm not. I will pass judgment after I hear arguments from both sides. Well, if you're not ready yourself, you shouldn't expect others to be. That's a rule to live by. Uh, 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 um... Who are you? I am Godo, legendary prosecutor. I've never lost a case. Ah, he's the one that Detective Amy was talking about! Oh yes, your reputation precedes you. Although I'm pretty sure we dealt with three people that have never lost a case, but whatever. Two people, sorry, I forgot how to math. What kind of cases have you dealt with so far? <laughs> None. But... What did you say? I've never prosecuted a case before. But, 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 but you, wait, no, you, you, you said you've never lost before. Exactly. I've never lost. I've never won before either. Oh, quite arrogant for a beginner, aren't you? <laughs> Even the mightiest of Redwoods begin their lives as mere saplings. Well, yes, but a mask in a court of law. <laughs> Don't you know anything? No matter the man, we all wear masks. Either on our faces, or over our hearts. But <laughs> Oh shit, he got me deep. Okay, this guy is the real deal, alright? <laughs> Why does it seem like all prosecutors are the real deal? So we finally meet. Mr. Phoenix Trite. But... Nick, is... is he a friend of yours? No. I don't have any friends that call me trite. Just, who is this masked man? I've returned from the depths of hell... to do battle with you. Nani? W well then... Uh... Prosecutor Gobo? It's not Gobo. It's Goto. 
your honor. Well, in any case, please give your opening statement. Opening statement? Those things are not fit for even dogs to consume. I've only one thing to say before we start. To you, Mr. Trite. But what is it? Are you familiar with the saying? A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. I wonder... How much you can withstand before you and your case break in two? Oh, I'm gonna have fun voicing you! Uh... Hmm. Well then, let's hear from the first witness. Hi guys, how you doing? It's been a while. Um, my name is... Uh... No one has asked for your name, witness. No, no. The important thing is what you know. That's all. Start talking. We're listening. Yes, sir. All right, witness. First, let's hear about what you know about the thief that stole the urn. Uh, yes, sir. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Mask Damask's crimes. Mask Damask is a master thief that first started his crime spree six months ago. He's so confident that he sends his calling card before he even commits the crime. So he's a relatively new criminal for six months. Also, that bag. <clears throat> this was his uh, fifth heist, and as usual, he sent a card to Lordly Taylor. His pattern is to always go after only the most precious art pieces. That's why we're sure it was Mask Damask, sir. I mean, it fits his M.O. to a T. <clears throat> mm. So then the actual identity of this Mask Damask is... Mr. Gudo! Wh uh, what are you... What? Uh... <clears throat> I guess I'm just gonna... <laughs> Don't mind me, I guess. Oh boy, guess we're both drinking today. Also, how the hell did that happen? How the hell did he get that cup? We're in the middle of a trial here, Mr. Godo. Blacker than a moonless night. Hotter and more bitter than hell itself. That is coffee. Okay, so we're both drinking coffee. I'm actually quite happy about that. And I get to assign my favorite voice to you for the moment. I'm sure you can grant me at least this much, Your Honor. Oh, please. Proceed. Uh, very well. I mean, it's only coffee after all. What? You can't be letting him slide this early in the trial. Better proceed with your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Uh, well, Nick, what are you going to do? Well, as long as they haven't brought up Mr. Delight's identity, all we can do is show that it wasn't Mask the Mosque who stole the urn. Alrighty then, let's go. Have you been involved in the investigation from the beginning? Yep! Nobody knows more about the thief than me, pal! It's true! I'm, a uh, Zvari! Author on thieves! Oh, God. <sighs> An author? He's written books about thieves? Um, I think he probably meant to say authority. Well, the fact that this guy can slip through even my finger shows how good he is, pal. <clears throat> it's easy when those fingers happen to be butterfingers. So, nobody knows more about the thief than you, huh? You got it, pal! Well, except maybe for the thief's mom, that is. But isn't there someone who knows even more about him than the police? You don't mean Detective Zvari, do you? Mm, who is this person? Zvari? He sounds German. His name is Look at Me, sir. I guess I shouldn't have made up such a silly name for him. What the? What the heck? I guess he's not all that famous after all. Anyway, it's true that I didn't manage to retrieve the last time the thief stole. No, oh, I see. Well, it seems you're not the ex, but you claim to be Crazy Fox. What? Wait, how'd you know about my name? Oh, it looks like the thief is toying with me, even now. All right. Have you seen all of these so-called calling cards? Well, of course! 
course I have! Looks it. Well, the person in charge of the treasure exhibit never brought their car to the police. You mean Adrian? So, I didn't see this one until after the crime occurred. That's because Detective Amy stopped Miss Andrews from taking it to the police. It was the calling car that Lord Lee Taylor received authentic. Well, all the cards have one common identifying feature. But we're not releasing that information to the general public. But you're absolutely certain that this card is real. Gumshoe can't say it out loud, but I bet he's talking about Mask Damask's emblem. Yeah. Hold it! His fifth heist. And your fifth screw-up, huh? What? Hey! Objection, pal! That ain't fair. Maybe you could say I screwed up four times. But this last time wasn't my fault. I didn't even know about the calling card this time. You... You of all people shouldn't be chuckling about this, Detective Gumshoe. I just want everyone here in the courtroom to know something. If you ever get a calling card from this guy, don't call some stupid private eye. Call your local police right away. Got me? Wow. Looks like he's really gotten in for the detective at me. Yeah. Definitely. Hold it. Art pieces? Like what, for example? Well, his first target was the famous Tear of Eminon. Uh, what's that? Some kind of especially salty teardrop? What? what? No, sir. It's a blue diamond. A single, rare diamond. Next was the Crown of Bangora. You know, the thing you put on your head? After that was the left hand of Hades, and then the portrait of Magina, sir. Detective Atme retrieved the portrait of Magina and returned to the museum. And the target of his fifth and last robbery was the Sacred Urn, right? But isn't it difficult for him to dispose of such famous art pieces? Well, we assume he must have some underworld connections. You know, oh, black market stuff. Okay. Somehow Mr. Delight doesn't like the type. Yeah, he's a little too sunny to be hanging out in the underworld. And I should know what underworld people are like. I played Rose Guns Days. They're cool. Oh, wait, I really shouldn't be endorsing that. What do you mean when you say it fits his M.O. to a T? Oh, I was thinking of asking the same thing myself. What the hell is a modus operandi? Sir, you already explained it. Shut up! Oh, I wish you would listen a little more closely, pal. Okay. First of all, there's the calling card. We're 100% certain it's authentic. Then there's the fact that he seemed to know all about the security system. And finally, his target was an art piece. These are all part of the thief's modus operandi. And so, since this robbery seems to fit all those conditions... That's right! It means that Mask Damask is behind it! Nick! Definitely looks like it was Mask Damask who stole the urn. But there's no real evidence either way as to whether Ron Delight is Mask Damask. But... But... Also, the urn hasn't turned up yet, let alone in connection to Mr. Delight himself. So even though we know it was Mask Damask that did it, Maybe for the time being, I should try to show it wasn't Master Moss that did it. Okay. Started as crime spree six months ago. What do I have available to me? Quite a lot, actually. Hmm. It's the KB security officer who's a record when used. Hmm. Found the KB security officer at 1 a.m. the night of the crime. If you don't want your trade to revealed to the world, come to KB Security at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring $50,000. If you don't, I'll take that red diamond you received the other day instead. Red diamond? I... Am I only just now acquiring this information now? A red diamond. Hmm. Oh. No, it's... Uh, for some reason, my brain was going to the other diamond that I was talking about, but they specifically stated that that was a uh, blue diamond. So, that's... A 
Okay, that's not gonna work, okay. Hmm. Okay. Two minutes. So there is a bit of a discrepancy here. I think I'll have to bring this up maybe later, probably. But... Let's see. It's KB security building at around 1 a.m. the night of the crime. And if that belongs to Ron Delight, then... That means that this can't be Ron. Right? I... I think? Hmm... I don't know, I'm trying to think here, like... I don't... I, I, fuck, I don't know, man. Okay. Uh, let me just go over his dialogue here again, cause... 1 a.m. is going to be a serious, like, this is going to be, like, really, really important here. That's the most precious art pieces. But it was stated that this has no monetary value. I remember that being, like, a bit of a joke, so... Actually, yeah, that kind of brings up something interesting. Why would he steal the urn in the first place if it has no monetary value? Um, okay, here's my theory. I have to present the Sacred Urn, but I think it probably go for... What's special? No, I think it probably fits for this one. It fits his M.O. to a T, but this does not fit his M.O. If this is supposed to be a precious... If, it's, if, if he was targeting a precious artifact, why would he go for something that has no value whatsoever? So... Okay, good, I was right, good. Can I ask you a little something, Detective Gumshoe? Just hearing the little in that question is making me nervous. You said that he always goes after the most precious art pieces, right? Oh, that's right, pal! But there's one problem. That's not what he did in this case. The supposedly priceless urn doesn't exactly rise to the level of precious art. Well, what do you mean? How can you say such a terrible thing? N no, I... I meant from a financial point of view. I, I mean, it wouldn't fetch a good price. Well, Prosecutor Godo, what is the value of that term? The appraisers I spoke to said they couldn't attach a price to it. And I mean that in the worst sense. So in other words, it was not the kind of item that Mass Damask would normally go after. No! Oh. <laughs> Hmm, if I understand you correctly, Mr. Wright, you're saying that the theft of the Sacred Urn was not the work of Mask de Mosque? Y yes that's what I'm saying. Actually, all I did was point out the contradiction. The argument made itself, but... Well, first of all, we need to get this issue cleared up. Was this last robbery the work of Mask de Mosque or not? What do you have to say about this, Mr. Godo? This coffee here, it's my own special blend. I call it Godo number 107. I'm trying to decide whether to cut down on the acidity or the bitterness. Ooh. You might get along with Bean Dad, or Coffee Dad. Sorry, I got Persona 5 on the mind a little bit here. That's the only thing I've got on my mind right now, Mr. Trite. What? If you're really a man, you should clean up your own mess. Um... It's sorry, but I... I don't get what you mean. If you're saying it wasn't Mask Damask that stole the Earth, then it must be someone imitating Mask Damask's methods. A fake. The fake Mask Damask? A fake Damask? Fake Damask? <laughs> that sounds so ridiculous, but I like it. But where, where did that come from? Who's doing that? Why can't I do that with my coffee? Now, before I decide on my coffee, 
I believe some proof is in order, Mr. Trite. Proof that the person who appeared at Lordly Taylor that night was actually a fake. Hmm. Though I don't approve of Mr. Godo's behavior, his point is valid. Mr. Wright, we're waiting. Looks like I'm going to have to prove it. I need proof that the person at Lordly Taylor that night was in fact fake Damask. Uh, how would I... How would I go about doing that? Fake Damask. I mean... That pretty much looks like... Wait, there's some... Hold on. difference. Okay, so <clears throat> if this is the real Mask to Mask, then I just noticed there's like a little bit of a gold thing around. Okay, uh, the you know like how my sorcerer has like a bit of a clasp with a big eyeball thing? He's got one of those too, except it's a face. But here in the security cam photo, it's not there. It's missing. So maybe that's the proof? Maybe? Take that! <clears throat> the proof is right here. This looks like a photo taken by a security camera. But if you look closely, you'll notice something peculiar about it. <laughs> well then, why don't you go ahead and show us what it is? Go on. Use this pointer and show us just what about this picture is so peculiar. This right here. He's not, he does not have the clasp. Take that! It's not here. It's right here, of course. You mean, uh, Mask de Mosque? <clears throat> I have here a piece of reference I would like the court to take a look at. Isn't that the publicity photo I bought this morning? Yes, <clears throat> and it turned out to be quite useful. <clears throat> oh, it's called a brooch. The problem I have with the security camera photo is the brooch on Damask's chest. A, a breach? Yeah. Bailiff, get my steed! We need to retreat at once! A brooch, your honor. It sort of clasps for holding one's cape on. Oh, a clasp, eh? Ah, oh, I see now! Uh, Bailiff, never mind, bring my- oh, no, 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 put the horse back! Oh, oh, god damn it, it's going to shit all over the courtroom. Uh, uh, that's what happens when I bring Silver to work. Wait, what? But the masked mask in the security camera photo! Ah, he has no brooch! That brooch is the same as the emblem on Damask's calling card, and serves as a symbol. But, the thief that broke into Lordly Taylor wasn't wearing a brooch. In other words, this Mask de Mosque is a fake! I'm in phone again! <laughs> Ew, you poor boy. Uh, Anna! Oh, it's true. Undeniably true. Detective Gumshoe! Ha! Huh. How could you have overlooked this? Uh, I'm sorry, sir! I don't know how I. Stop doing that. Teach me. No. No, keep doing that. Teach me your ways. Hey now, if you're gonna have a pity party, invite me too. D Mr. Goto, you deserve some blame in this too. How could you have overlooked such a large brooch? <laughs> the brooch you're talking about. Do you mean this? Ah! Th th that's Mask to Mask's brooch! But where did you find it? Well, I've always had a good nose for evidence. I got it at the crime scene. It was hidden in the shadow of a big female Buddha statue. B Buddha statue? 
Oh, he must mean the Amy Faye statue. Well, why didn't you tell me about that, sir? I always put evidence away in my pocket. After all, it's the safest place for crucial evidence. <laughs> well, this guy is one cool customer. How are you doing that? It's a little early to be shaken up, isn't it, little lady? That friend of yours left pretty little hickeys on there, too. The uh, hickeys? Figuratively speaking, of course. I'm referring to Ron Delight's fingerprints. Oh, shit. What? What? The defendant's fingerprints are on the brooch? Oh, fuck. Order! Order in the court! Mr. Goto, let's see that brooch! I've grown attached to my metallic girlfriend here. Take good care of her. Wh what? Huh? What? <sighs> okay. Hmm. She, though, I mean, it appears to have been torn off some clothing. There's a little bit of cloth left on the back. Obviously, there must have been a big struggle that night at the crime scene. Oh, Phoenix, we have a problem. Found the shadow of Amy Faye's statue. Looks like it was torn off of some clothing. Oh, then I already know what this is going to be leading into. We'll have to probably get some information from Look At Me because he got knocked out by Mask Damask. So, if the two had a bit of a scuffle, maybe he could tell whether he pulled it off. But, but if he did pull it off, wouldn't his fingerprints be on it? Or, no, he's wearing gloves, so... Okay. You mess with Goto, and you get burned. <sighs> He's been playing me like a violin. Well, Judge, I'm about ready to call my next witness. Already? Huh? Wait, you're done with me? But I haven't proved anything yet. You've proven your own incompetence. That's good enough. No, oh, that doesn't sound good at all. Oh my god. Stop it! Stop bashing my boy! Bailiff! Bring the next witness into the courtroom! Finally time for the ace detective to make his appearance, huh?